Wanna make this boiling water with water bubbles and steam in blender without using any kind of simulation? Let's do it. First, model or import your big bowl model. Select it and press tab to go into edit mode. Select the top edges and press shift s and choose cursor to selection. Then press shift a, add a circle and scale it around the size of the big bowl. Press tab to enter the edit mode. Then press ctrl f and choose grid fill. After that, right click and subdivide two times. Go to modify tab and add a subdivision surface modifier and set the level to 2. This will be our boiling water surface. Now press shift d to duplicate it. This will be our smoke. Then press shift D again and duplicate it one more time. This will be our particle killing object. Select it, go into edit mode, right click and choose unsubdivide two times to reduce the mesh density. Move it up and adjust it into the scene. Next, go to the physics tab, add a collision physics and enable kill particles. Now select the surface object, go to the modifiers tab, add a displace modifier, change the coordinate to object and in the viewport press shift A, add an empty object. This will be our controller. Go to the empty object data properties and on Z location, add a driver by typing hashtag frame multiply by 2. Now go back to the displace modifier and assign the empty in the object field. Then go to the texture tab, change the texture type to Voronite and play with the values until you get desired look. Back in the modifier settings, adjust the strength and mid level value to fit your scene. Now hit the spacebar to preview the boiling water effect. If the speed is too fast, change the Z location driver to hashtag frame multiply by 0.08. Next, let's add water bubbles that appear while boiling. For that, select the bottom faces, press shift D to duplicate and press P to separate and make it a new object. This will be our bubble emitter. Now go to the particle tab, add a new particle system in the viewport, add a UV sphere, right click and set smooth. Move it outside the scene and slightly change its shape. Back in the particle setting, set the end frame to 150 to match the timeline. Change the lifetime to 100 and adjust the lifetime randomness as needed. Expand the source panel, switch to emit from to volume and uncheck the event distribution. Now scroll down to the velocity, set the normal to 0, enable rotation, increase randomize to 1, phase to 1 and randomize phase to 2. Next, expand the render section, switch render as from hello to object and choose the sphere as instance object. Also set the scale randomness to 1. Then scroll down to the field weights and set the gravity to minus 1. Now press the space bar to see the bubbles moving upward. If you notice, bubbles are popping out, adjust the emitter scale and location. And the problem is solved. Your boiling water is finally ready with the water bubbles using particles. And that's it. This was the part 1 of the tutorial. In the next and the final part, we'll be creating the smoke or evaporating steam and finalizing the entire scene. See you in the part 2. Until then, follow Art of for more.